Hey guys, Ryan Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Where am I? Can you read on the screen? If you can read that on the screen, don't ask me. Just, you're going to see something magical today. Remember guys, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you can hear me. I'm actually quite nervous today. I'm handling very, 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 very rare pigeons. I'm just letting you people come on. Oh, promote... Post your questions, comments, guys. Don't be shy. This show works best when you communicate with me. Yes, I'm in pigeon heaven. Pigeon paradise. Not pigeon paradise. That sounds cheesy, doesn't it, eh? Paradise would be up in heaven, I think. I don't know. But man, oh man. Good, good evening. Dominic Zarlinga, good evening, good evening. Brian Mansker, good evening. Yes, here he is. The legendary. Look, look at him. Just looks like a regular guy, eh? You kind of remind me of my dad, but... My dad's just a bit better looking. There he is, the one and only Willie Daniels, Belgium, and his accomplice. Look at this. Chris, how are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Willie, you good? Okay, yes. Guys, please post your comments in. Oh, we have people from Australia, Green Bay, Willie Daniels coming to Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Chris, Claire, I screwed the last name up. Claire? Boat. What? Claire Boat. Claire Boat. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I met these two gentlemen last year at the, uh, where did I meet you guys? Where was it? Uh, the Golden Doif. The Golden Doif. Super Pigeon. Now, people, if you have questions for these two superstars, don't be shy. Ask. I will ask the questions. If they will answer them, that's up to them. But before we start, who is this pigeon in the hands right here? Can you hold her up? What a super looking hand. Chris, tell me about the pigeon. This is the second national ace pigeon for until 600 kilometers from the KVDB. Second ace pigeon? Yeah, after her loft mate, her, she was number one. So that year, last year, really had the first and second national ace pigeon. How hard is that to do? Unbelievable hard. Unbelievable hard. Isn't that something? To have first and second, and I've been lucky enough to handle both. This pigeon, out of 10, we couldn't even score it a 10. It's higher than a 10. She's super. She's got, open up the wing for me, Willie. Don't be, Willie's a bit shy, but hey, look at this pigeon. That's the second ace pigeon uh, from how far again, you say? From 450 until 600 kilometers. 450 to 600 kilometers, beating thousands of pigeons. Oh, what a super, eh? What do you think about her, Willie? What do you think? This is the second best. <laughs> this is the second best. What is it like to have first and second? Yeah, it's uh, not normal. Not normal? Is that, is that the greatest, your yeah. greatest accomplishment ever? It's, uh, I think it's never uh, happened, happened uh, to Belgium. Never. never? Rare. You're breeding the hen? She's breeding now. Yes. Yeah, breeding. Breed the good ones? Yes. The, ladies and gentlemen, you put this pigeon in your hands. It's got muscles. It's buoyant. It has it all. Look at the look at the feathers. Feathers are painted. Hello from Morocco. That's the second ace pigeon right here. Yes. Isn't that something, Chris? You want to handle it or no? You want to handle her again? Will you see the first pigeon? We're gonna see the first pigeon. The balance is super. And Willie's gonna go get the first pigeon. Hey, Hammy McIntyre. Are you having fun? Yes, today I had a great day at Chris's place. We select pigeons. Look at the wing. Now, Chris, when you handle this pigeon, is there anything you don't like about her? No. She's yeah, perfect. Perfect. The balance. Very smart eye. I don't know if it's light enough to see. No, it's not. But I don't think it matters, do you? Very close until the body. Muscles. Look at the muscles, eh? Super. Just a super pigeon. And again, you're looking at a pigeon, ace pigeon of all Belgium, second ace pigeon. Like, unbelievable. After the lost mate. Eh? 
Huh? This unbelievable after her loft mate. After her loft mate. I mean, if you just had this pigeon alone, you'd be fine. Yeah. You'd be very proud. But to have two pigeons in one season. And it's never been done before. Wow. Look at the pigeon. Look at the quality. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. You, you, when you see these types of pigeons, they're flawless. Again, you hear me say the way God intended the pigeon to be. Uh, <laughs> really have a patent on national ace pigeons because first he had the first national ace pigeon, Sarah. And then after her sister, also Nadine, she was first national ace pigeon. Then we have uh, number two, which we lost on the last national race, but she was second national ace pigeon. And then this one and two. All right, Willie, quit the bullshit. Now, who's this one? <laughs> this, this is Fina. This is Fina? First national ace pigeon. Uh, first national lasso train. 20, 20, 20, uh, yeah. It's a 19. Yeah, 19, yeah. Look at this. Look at the two. First and second, eh? And uh, you got uh, somebody from the UK. Uh, you might know him, John Gladwin. Hello, he John. says, he says, hey, he, he says, hey guys, super pigeons, the best of the best right here. Man, I'm going to tell you, this hen is a bigger hen in the hands. Yeah. I handled her. This one's a bit smaller. But oh. the muscles on these pigeons. She won uh, the first uh, national ace pigeon. And she won uh, first national uh, La Souterrain from, uh, wait. Uh oh. Fastest of 25,000. This is one. There it is there. Fastest of 25,000. Wow. Beautiful. Super hen. I mean, both of these pigeons, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Now, interesting fact, going through Willie's birds today, we've got some pigeons here selected, some hens. We look, your hens are bombs. They're super. They got super muscles. I never feel this. The cocks are much different than the hens, but you predominantly fly hens. Yeah, I uh, flying hens. Uh... Uh, maximum uh, 16 hens of the year. 16 I, hens I, a year? I, I, I play with 16 hens. You play with 16 hens? All the nationals. All the nationals? Yeah. How do you fly the hens? What's the system you're flying them on? She going uh, to Luring to the one from 100 kilometers. Yes. And she's to further to 200, 300. And then goes to nationals. She flying eight nationals in a year. She flies eight nationals in a year. Yeah. And the system that you fly them on, widowhood. Uh, ha ha. What, uh, uh, Chris? How do I say this? Yeah, widowhood. The cocks from the hens stay at home. Yeah. So the cocks stay home. Yeah. Before we go busking to the club, we let them together for twenty minutes. Then we bring the pigeons to the club. And when the pigeons arrive back home, they can stay until evening. If the very hard race, they can sleep together until Sunday morning. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Do the hens? Do they, when the hens race? Do they have youngsters before the season? We will really always breed one round in January mm -hmm. from the best racing hens. From the best hens. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, and it just it, it shows the the hen. Uh, does he show the cocks just for the national races? Yeah. Yes. Only the nationals, yeah. not not for the warm up. Then they no, are everything. Is, uh, hands is uh, you can do hands what you will. It's no problem. You like hands. Yeah. Easy going. Yeah. Hands you can do what you will. It, cocks not the same. No, no, no. Cocks not the same. Did you ever you play with cocks before? No. Yeah, do before. No, no, uh, now only hands, not cocks. Hens uh, is the best of the four or five hundred kilometers. What does is, what is Poppy Gonzo say here? He says, I like the browns of Mr. Willie D because to be Marcel Wooters, I don't know what he's saying. 
Try that one again. I don't even get this. Maybe this makes sense to you. You, yeah. you understanding? The one is coming from the mother. Ah. Oh. The grandmother of this one was the red pigeon. The grandmother from her, and she's the red one is the mother of Aske Ian. Her mother calls Aske Ian, and it's one of the best breeding hens from Willie. Okay, so that made sense what he was yeah. asking because I, I couldn't get it. You see the red cock in my home today. Yes. He is the half brother of her mother. From the same mother as the red line. Okay. And the red line is coming from yeah, Daphne, mother Aske Ian. So now pigeons like this, are you not scared having them at your place? Not not afraid to get stolen? Yeah. <laughs> that, that that's a priceless it's, pigeon. It's, uh, it's all turn risk, eh? The risk. Uh, the risk of, uh, to uh, to the to the world, everything, yeah. yeah to, Man, but uh, you have these uh, pictures uh, for the toekomst, uh, for, for the future. For the future. For the future. Yeah. And you never sell this pigeon. No, I don't know. No. no. This it is. Uh, it is an a dream to have a. Yeah, dream. dream. Now, Chris, which which one which one would you pick? Of the two. Look at the back. Look at the size of the back. She's a muscle. Everywhere. Yeah. She's like a stone. She's like a stone. And I mean, hey, she's not even flying. Not working. Look yeah, at the... Yeah, the Dr. Frau Flo did a uh, young pigeon, uh, 10 national... Argentine. Argentine. Her daughter. Her daughter. This... This year. This year, her daughter, 10th national. Yeah. Argentine. From on, on a very many. 20,000. 20,000. This is awesome. Guys, you asked Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions to go that extra mile. This is why we're here. We're going to this. This doctor met uh, the father of Nadine. So hit this pigeon's father. Yeah. No, no. No. The young the youngster. Uh, uh, Flying ten the national, the youngster this year, was tenth Argentine. national. Yes, and this is the mother. Uh huh. And the father is the father of Nadine. Ah, and Sara, and Sara. First national race pigeons, uh, six to six, 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 sixteen and seventeen. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So how many first national race pigeons have you bred? <laughs> I have uh, three. Times first national ace pigeons. Three times first national ace. Yeah. Three times. Three times. Three. And two times uh, second national ace pigeons. So three, three times ones. first, two times second? Yeah. With 16 now in. With 16 pigeons. Yeah, 16 pigeons. You're lucky you don't have more pigeons. <laughs> You're lucky, eh? They're lucky. They're lucky. I have not the place for for uh, more, pigeons. more more pigeons. Question, Willie. How many years you been flying pigeons? Uh, from uh, 2010. The two, uh, 2010, I start with uh, ankle hands. Okay, but but you grew up as a little boy with pigeons. Uh, my father had pigeons. Yeah. Your father had pigeons, yeah. and you start playing seriously. I start. Uh, Wanneer ben ik getrouwd in 1975. 1975. Yeah. But I. You see, this is one of the back. Yeah, the back wing, yeah. From the first. The step. Power. Yeah. The, the nice curve in the wing. Look at the. Look at the. <laughs> There's not a flaw in that pigeon. I don't know. It's the best of the best. And she breeds already. It's a dream to handling. It's a dream. Yeah. It, again, I say, that's why God intended a perfect hen to be built. You, you couldn't build her any better. Yeah. Look, at the, look at the width in the back, eh? And, and the speeds uh, for the season when this pigeon flies, what were the speeds? 
Like, what, what did she excel better in? Uh, that, is, that is sad, I think. Uh, we're gonna have the speed in, uh, if we race eight nationals, for sure we have sometimes high speed and sometimes less speed. We don't have whole season same mm -hmm. weather. No, so, sometimes it's high speed, sometimes yeah, it's low. low speed. But for her to be the overall ace pigeon, that means she had to do it with tailwind, with headwind, yes. with crosswind. Yeah. You, okay. This isn't one time winning. No. This is multiple super performances. Yes, it's unbelievable. And then... She also win the first national Los Ukrainians, not easy. First national? Yeah. Wow. Ace Pigeon first... <laughs> what can I say? I can see again the... Kristen Marshman, what does she ask? Does he still have the willy? And is he... Best out of Willie Daniels. Does this make sense? I am here. Yeah, I am here. The Willie's at your place. So, the Chris. Brother of Sarah and Nadine. Sarah and Nadine, yes. What breeders are we visiting? Willie Daniels. Here, I'll post it up on the thing. Uh, mother. Oh, oh, hold on here. So, is this making sense to you? Mother of Third National, Marcel Wooters. Of Willie Daniels. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, from Marcel Wouters, the national was of Dick was it from or was only from Aske again? Let me hear. This is these are the nuts like no fan. Just the what's he won? In uh nineteen twenty twenty. First national is it? Push national. Three and twenty thousand. Thirteen Five assist. Chateau. Three and thirty thousand seven hundred and fifty. Wow. Arianton. Six and twenty thousand five hundred. Place eight and twenty eight. Is a day. national. Eighteen thousand one hundred sixty seven. Elder place. La Soutere. Fifteen thousand nine hundred. First place. Gure. Gure is uh, 600 kilometer. <laughs> National, 12,800. Please, 16th prize. 16th prize. Number 60. Yeah. Wow. He, this. That time I'm a little bit angry, Willie. Because. You were angry at Willie. Nobody could beat her anymore. And he still put her on the race. She won the 60th. Gure, National. She won the sixth, sixth prize, 60. 60. She was my fourth pigeon to home. So, uh, unbelievable. Yeah, that was my dinner dog, but that's not good to back. Guys. Yeah, I wish that I knew what I had. One question. Do you. Who was doing a lot of Here's a question. One question. Do you use. That's well, yeah. He's doing the five. Supplements. I don't know. Hey, Chris, Chris, you you know these supplements? Do you use this? Viscape? No. Located in Morocco. I don't know. No, we don't. He doesn't use those products. Sorry. But thanks for asking. I don't know. Chris Clairo. And Willie Daniels. First national ace pigeon. Second national ace pigeon of twenty. Was it twenty twenty one or twenty twenty? You know twenty twenty. Here, but tech Yeah. There you see both. And yes, guys, we are here selecting pigeons. That is the pigeon option. We'll be hosting an auction with both of these gentlemen. Yeah, I am lifting. We bring the very best. Very best from Belgium. This is our live, Ryan. Huh? This is our live, eh? sitting together. Enjoying pigeons. Enjoying pigeons. Craig. Can I a number of other things? We can all talk about our success, which is great. I would like to know what has been 
their biggest mistake or biggest regret. Chris, what's been your biggest... Well, ask Willie when he comes back, because right now we don't want him to fall outside with the hen. <laughs> biggest mistake, biggest regret in racing. Go ahead, Chris. Biggest mistake. Yeah, what do you think your biggest mistake has been? I have to see. Come on, you're a straight shooter. Let it out. What's your biggest mistake? Something that really pissed you off that you did. I cannot say remember directly. No? No. Biggest regret? The biggest mistake maybe because I not fight enough for the good pigeon transports. Yeah, you're about pigeon transport. And yeah. again, Chris was saying today, you don't... Uh, go ahead, uh, elaborate on it because you never know who's listening. Yeah, because we we don't have the good transport for bring our pigeons, especially in the summer, to the to the national race, and not every province take the same good care. And if we fly national race, it means everybody need to be the same. That's right. You find that's not the same. No, I have many pictures and movies that we can prove. So I want for the future they really better take care of the pigeons. Better, better uh, care of transport. Transport, yeah. It's too much heat. Yes. Not enough water. Yes, correct. That's that's fair, Craig. I hope that's, that that's that's, that's important. Eh? We think it's the most important for race pigeons is the good transport, good take care. Good transport, good take care. Now, before we... Oh, jeez, we got another hand. <laughs> this is a checker white flight. He would just see this car, yeah. They need that in the yellow basket. Another super hand. This is the yellow one, This is Zister Sara Nadine. Eh? Yeah. This is the sister of the... Of Sara, first national ace pigeon, and sister of Nadine, also first national ace pigeon. She's a longer type of pigeon. A little bit bigger, eh? Yeah. Still strong in the back. Yeah. But when you handle her, you can feel it's longer. Longer. You like? Yes. Good feathers? Very soft. Now, do soft feathers mean anything? It means the condition of the pigeon at the moment. You see the strong back. Yeah, look at the nice step, eh? I always look most when I select my pigeons to have like this. You, you look like yeah. this? If there is a... If there's no, no step? If there is a hole inside, it's more for the short distance. Okay. But what a, what a super looking hen. Yeah. This hen race? I don't know if you fly this one. Again, guys. Did you get the camera one? Yeah, I Not race. You fall the my? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a gift, you're giving it to me. You see, you want to take it home. I still have a space. Uh, Michael Peebler from the US asks, Will, Willie, do you believe in eye sign? Eye sign? Uh, eyes. Eyes. No. No? No. What do you believe in? Good pigeons. Good pigeons. Good ones. First National Ace Pigeons. I, I believe in First National and Second National Ace Pigeons. Hey, when you, when you go to buy a pigeon, what do you look for? What do you look? Uh, salt and soft. Yeah. Go to the The back. Back. Strong back. Strong back. Wide back. Strong, Strong back. She must uh, five, six hundred kilometers. Got not met uh, or if and uh, a slecht rug on the top. Back. The, uh, the soft back. The soft back. Soft back, yes. Strong back, yes. Strong. Strong. 
But eye sign? No. Eye sign, no. You don't no. believe in the eye? No. Best, uh, best eyes for the... For the quake, for the... Really? I like brown eyes. Brown eyes? Yeah. Darker eyes? Dark, dark eyes. Dark eyes, okay. Yeah. But these have a light eye. Yeah, steel. Yeah, it's a light, it's eye. A light eye. Light eye. He's gonna give it to you. Yeah, Chris, Chris wants it. No, eh? Can you no, see? Uh, he he's wants a, it. He's you a see light him? eye. It's no good. No good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay. Question. Question for Willie. We'll ask Willie. What do you think about one loft racing? One loft racing. No, I. I don't. I quit on the. I do it on the America. I do it on the other world. Really never. Cost. Much money for for what? Hmm. Much money for what? Eh? It's not good racing. Yeah. Not the same. No. No. I think the system is totally different. T system yeah. is totally different. Yeah. yeah. We play for from Belgium, eh? All the nationals is is playing for uh, from all Belgium. for for uh, like uh, all Belgium. All Belgium. That's right. 20,000 uh, pigeons. 20,000 pigeons, this is right. Yeah, that is, that is the man. That's the best. We spread like this, we spread like this. We spread up to everywhere. Everywhere. Not, uh, not only hook. Yeah. It is <laughs> much... Uh, Basically, what he's saying is, one loft racing is a joke. <laughs> no, 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 Slightly. I, it's not the same. It's, it, not, it's, it's, it's not the same. It's, it's not the same. Uh, but we respect the people who want to feel yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. But it's just total different. You, 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 yes. can't, you can't compare winning a one loft race, right? An ace pigeon to what we just looked at. Mm -hmm. not, the same, not the same racing. But uh, everything can, can not in, in, in this uh, land. Eh? Uh, but, uh, it's a lot of spell, like I will, uh, don't bring the eh, door by the car and then spell the one loft race. Huh? Yeah, one loft race will really say they all need to go to one, one loft, one, yeah. loft. one direction. Right. For us, when we liberate the pigeons for the national race, they need to go, yeah. go all throughout Belgium, yeah. the whole country. Yes, and, uh, we have a small country, but the place is 120 kilometers across. Across, so they need to. Yeah, they need to think. Yeah. Now, oh, like China is a big land, uh, the Kunyani, eh? Yeah. She uh, spelled one lost race. This for China that is that top. Eh? The, the, the pigeons come all together and. Everything can everything can uh, play to this race. In Belgium, is that Craig uh, uh, Craig asks. I have great success with Willie Jacobs. They have any Jacobs blood in their families? Jacobs. Yeah. Willie Jacobs, yeah, but it's not this Willie. Willie Jacobs is a fancier who passed away a few years already. He was a small... He, he's asking, did, is there any of this blood in these pigeons? No. no. Sorry, Craig, no, no blood. Willie, my question for you is, you've won some major... <laughs> major... I mean, you've won... In, what is there left to win? <laughs> what, what, what more... What are you looking for? Well, uh, the question I ask is, what do you, what do you want to win next? <laughs> next. Uh, is there anything to win next? No. Like first, second, and third, maybe. I probeer de val maar wat hij terug mijn beste doen voor, voor de Ford National Ace Pigeon. He will do all his best to win again the first National Ace Pigeon. Yeah, I bet. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, Doivin Market Lear, did they buy any pigeons last month to reinforce their breeding lofts? And if they may choose some pigeons to reinforce without budget limit, 
where would you go and buy? So if you had all the money in the world and you want to go buy a pigeon today, where would you go? I stay in the neighbors. You stay in the neighborhood? Yeah. Oh boy. We Please. go buy pigeons to the people who can beat us. The yeah. people who can beat us? Yeah. In our area. In your area? Yeah. So that's and, and what do you buy? A hen or a cock? I think new and uh, cock. Yeah, I have hands. <laughs> I have many hands. <laughs> I have the best, hey, wait! <laughs> I, have, I have the best hands. You, no, no, it's okay. See, it was a trick question. I see. I tried to trick him, eh? What a stupid question that was. Do you want to buy hens or cocks? He's only got the best hens. I have a good cock for this one. Okay, it's it's official. We're going to be taking this one home for Chris tonight. Chris really wants the bird. Christmas is coming. What do you think? You going to give this to Chris? First round for Willie. Maybe been uh, next ten years. <laughs> the next, what did he say? The next, next ten years. Next ten years. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. All right, I'll be back here in ten years. Uh, how old's yeah. the pigeon? Twenty. She's a twenty, so she's gonna be in good shape. Yes. Question: Do, do your hens uh, breed long time? Uh, fill eggs. Yeah. The... I uh, run the. Dus ik kerstmis en nieuwjaar zitten ze samen en dan mogen ze een jonge groot brengen. Ja, maar je vraagt de, hoe lang dat Davine haren leggen. Is Daphne, de moeder van Aske 1, is van 2009. En ze fertilise, ze heeft de goed eggs in de laatste jaar. 2009, so that's uh, yeah. 12 years old. Mm. No, 14. Ja. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Aske Oon is van 2012 en die heeft uh, last year two young, two young. Oké, okay, Robert, uh, Robert asked this question. And I'm going to ask it just like this. Willie can give his answer, then Chris can give his, or Chris can go first. We're going to see. What does, well, we're going to ask Chris this first, and then Willie can answer. What do Chris and Willie think of PIPA? Are they good for the pigeon sport? Chris? Take it away. <laughs> they make a lot of people happy and they do good things for the pigeon sport. But uh, other things, who I am for. <laughs> it's okay. I always say, live and let other people live. So do what you want. Yeah. It's okay. Nobody, nobody need to buy any pigeons on people. Everybody is free. Huh? Everyone's free. So yeah. that's right. You do what you want. If you want to yes. buy pigeons from people, go ahead. Yes. I, are buy, you, are, I buy some good pigeons from people. You, you buy some pigeons. Yeah. Okay. So you're not against them? I'm not against anybody. Okay. Chris is pretty simple. Now, wait, wait. This is now we... I know. You want... Would, would you buy this hen if it was on people? <laughs> for sure. Okay. Willie, what do you think? Is people good for the sport? What do you think? Uh, Hij vraagt of dat Pippa goed is voor de sport. Ja, ik denk wel. Hè. Pippa is. Pippa heeft uh, ook uh, de Belgische draven omhoog gebracht. En, en, uh, Pippa heeft de Belgische draven on, on, on the top gebracht. They bring the, the Belgian pigeons to the Top level for... For sales. For sales. For sales. Yeah. Really yeah. Okay. Uh, Craig asks, do they use the bull system, top cocks with hands? If so, any advice? Or or don't do the bull system? What do you think of the bull system? We don't believe in bull system. You don't like the bull system? No. Why? <laughs> we always do natural way. But sometimes we take the first round from the best pairs, the eggs, mm -hmm. and let them lay two times. Right. But not uh, with the cock and put all the hands. We no. no. Why, and why not? Why don't you like it? I see one love before who do this and uh, I see the quality not stable. It's, it's like they're over overdoing it. Yeah. They, they take too much out of the cock. Yeah. The cock has to be able to produce the same. Yeah. And they pump the hands too hard. 
I think so, yeah. So, and what do you think, Willie? No, we have a steady. Ah, a steady. We have a steady with a steady with a steady. Men styrer det ni. Kweken is is iets anders. En mijn lormeester. Maris Voets was de teacher of Willy. Ja. Oké. Hij was een very famous man from this area. Yes. World famous that time already. Oké. En? Ik ga niet gemakkelijk. Ieder jaar had dezelfde koppel een een goede kweken. You will not breed every, not easy to breed every year top pigeons from the same pair. But, you have then a quake hook, then you have another dove that is a good quake. But you need to have a strong breeding loft if this pair this year not have the good pigeons, so the other pair can make another good one. Another good one. Then you have a strong breeding loft. That oh. is an a asset for the best life ever over the years. A monument. Maris Foots was a monument in the Belgian yeah. pigeon sport. Okay. Yeah. And so no bullying, no bull system. No bull system. No bull system. You see this? You guys ask the questions from the superpowers, and we get the answers. Remember, guys, to like, share, and subscribe. We can. We cannot force the nature. You can't force nature. No. no. And when you do it, nothing good comes from it. Because you're being greedy. It will pay back after. Yeah, you're being greedy. You're taking too much. Boy, that is a nice hen. I'm watching you handle her. She's nice. I don't even think it... You know what? This pigeon doesn't suit to be in Willie's loft anymore. <laughs> Needs to go to a new loft. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 40 go out. You, you're going to eat them, eh? Yeah. Oh, check the jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Super pitch. You gonna bring another one out? Maybe. Maybe. Rosedale Loft. Does he believe in inbreeding, line breeding, or crossing? Chris, go ahead. Yeah, for the for get a strong family, we do an inbreeding. If you see the pedigrees from Willie, most is coming from good inbreeding pigeons. Okay. That's what we told before. Willie really said I need some other cocks for new blood. New blood. Because we start with three lines. Line Aske Ian, line Kaat, Sara Nadin. But now we, in this loft, we are a little bit... Full. Full. So you need to, to bring some yeah. new blood. Yes. And, and do you race the inbred, <coughs> do you rate, you like to race the inbred pigeons or no? Uh, I have more success with cross. More success with cross. If you see the pigeons from Willy, the ace pigeons, mm -hmm. you always can see it's cross also. So the ace pigeons are always crossed. Yes, because in the beginning he had three good bloodlines in his loft. Mm -hmm. And this mix make him... But now it's also in the... All the pedigrees is always mixing inside already. Right. So it's all mixed in. So all the three families are almost getting now too close. Yes. So now you're looking for... And now Willie also see because I success very good with cross his pigeons with my pigeons. Right. And give a uh, super results. Yeah. You, I mean you flew very well this year. So we we happy and we start now. Yeah. How, how long have you known Willie? For many years. Many years. Yes, two thousand. Since two thousand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, question. Uh, Brian Masker says, "Do you do you use a lot of pumpers? Do you guys use a lot of pumpers, uh, floaters, mm -hmm. eggs under, eggs under? Yeah, Switch only, the, only the first round from few pairs we do. Only a few. Only only the first round out of the certain birds. Yeah. Not out of everyone. Because we and then we mix the hands to another cock. Who is he? Who is who? He." He is the father of Nadine and Sarah. Holy shit. He is from 2013. 2013. Yeah, you take him in the hands. No, I take him in a second. I'm gonna, listen, the one thing I can tell. Oh, look at the back, eh? Look at the back. Look, look, you see it. Look at how thick it is. Tight. He's a little bit more deep. Deep. He looks deep. Yeah. He looks bigger pigeon. It's he has the muscles now, eh? Yeah. It's long. A little bit deep. 
Uh, okay, someone asked, strains of DiCaprio of the late Dirk Vandendyke from Mr. Willie Daniels, right? Is that the right question? Strain of DiCaprio of the late Dirk van Dijk from Willie. We're reading the questions here, guys. We're reading the questions. It's not inside. In this no, it's not inside in this pigeon. Now, what I'm going to do... In gonna... fact, it was not the real big names in Willie's paddock days. There's not big names. Yeah. Just his own pigeons. Yeah. Pretty and, much. And from his teacher, the old line where he started with was from Maurice Foots. Okay. But it's... Is he known? Yeah, that's right. But he's well good. But that's not good now. And he had that All right, hold on one sec. Give me a second. We're going to do this my way. But you don't want a coffee now, but I'll be done. Don't worry about the coffee. Go out. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Holy shit. Can I have this pigeon? <laughs> Holy man. 2013, eh? It feels like it feels like a yearling. You, hey, guys, when, when you have when you handle this pigeon in your hands, it goes like this. Yeah. A machine. What a super cock. <clears throat> and again, see, puts the legs out. The wing. Ladies and gentlemen, man. I gotta thank John Gladwin, eh? You will have a, a good dream tonight. Eh? I'm gonna tell you something. This could be the nicest cock I've ever handled. I mean, look at him. You know, if you touch my earlobes, you'll feel them vibrating from this oh. pigeon. The question before they ask about the Willy. Yeah. Is it copy? It's a copy? It's, it's his it, son. It's his son. Okay. So that's not right. It's a copy. It's a copy. There you go. You see. People, people, that this is what we learn in pigeon sport. Mm. I'm going to give this bird back to Chris. People watching the show, look at the bars too, eh? This thickness. Yeah. Is that something you look at or no? What? The thickness. Yeah, it need to be... I like thick bars. All right, hold on. Let's get to some more of the questions, guys. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. I feel the booms. It's totally close. The vent, they're like steel. Like someone welded them together. All right, uh, very nice bird. No, 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 that's not a nice bird. That's Rosedale, that's not a nice bird. That's a super nice bird. Okay, hold on. Are there, are they locked partners or fly against each other? Michael Peebler. Are you guys partners or how does this work? We fly against each other. You fly against each other, okay. But, but you're good friends. Yes. Okay. Uh, do they like good vibration in the birds? You like good vibration when a pigeon vibrates. And that this this cock here, he, this pigeon vibrates the whole body. Same with the people if you choose workers and you see one man active or one who sleep. That's right. Which Co you choose. Common sense. Yeah. That's right. You, you're looking for someone that, that why do you think they choose me? Look at me. I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. Um super cracking vibration, yes. A nine-year-old cock. A nine-year-old. No, he's not nine. How old is this cock? He's from 13. He's from 13? So, he, he yeah, he's nine years old. Nine years old. Nine years old. Uh, and look, uh, we show you the vibration in this cock. Look, this is something they look for. They cannot feel the body, but the body also shaking. If they can't. That's what I say. It, it, guys, it, it, what I say is this pigeon here, when you handle him, He's in your hands. He vibrates so much. If you touch Chris's ear, the, the ear is vibrating. Okay, so my question is, you're a super... Oh, 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 hold on. I fixed this. One second. But you have a coffee or a beer? Uh, beer, hold on. Sure. Beer. What do they say? Paint you? Paint you. 
Here we go. We get the camera back. The same painting. Is that perfect? This, uh, I, 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 you know, when people ask me, because I go to lots of lofts, what is it like? When you get the world-class pigeons, you just know it. Mm. You, you know, they're, they're not all like this. They're not all like this. Okay, uh, Rosedale. Do they do they place a lot of importance on young bird racing? Do you place a lot of importance on young bird racing? Thanks, Willie. Yes, we, you know, the, ah, it's okay. Everything everything starts with the young birds racing. Everything starts with the young birds. Yes. So young birds is very important. For me, yes. For you. It's also a selection for to have a good team for the future, for the yearlings. But we also see it's not always the best young birds performance good when they are yearlings. Eh? Yeah. Uh, so if you get a if you get a super performing young bird, do you expect it to be super as a yearling? Yes. Yeah, we want to be the same. Does it happen a lot or no? Do you see it fall off? Some fall off. Some keep going. Yeah. Do you see more of young birds that are consistent? But then as yearlings, two-year-olds, two they, they pick it up. Yeah. Better? But this we see already when they... This you need to see when they arrive home from the nationals as young bird, if they... If they're tired, no good. Yeah. If they they look good, okay. But one time they can be a little bit tired, it depends on the weather, but... Normally they need to be fresh. Question from Michael Peevler. Do you guys co-breed? Yes. Yeah, you do. They do. <laughs> hey, I think he wants to take this one home too. <laughs> Same you see today what I have now in my loft from from Willie. Yeah. And how our success with his pigeons is and in, in a few years is and and guys, we, we didn't get to, to do uh Chris today. Uh we had a lot of fun. I had to shoot some video there. Uh, I got there in the afternoon. We had awful weather here in Belgium today. It wasn't nice weather for going outside, so it is what it is. That is one hell of a pigeon. Uh, unbelievable. Do they like the last flight to be equal length and, and, and steak knife shape? The last flights. Do you like them to line up together and look like, <laughs> and look like a steak knife or a butter knife? The flights. When you open the wing, yeah. Okay. The asking, do you like the flights to line up, all line up together, and the flights look like a butter knife? Does it matter? No, because uh, in fact, the first generations of Antwerp pigeons they had the bright feathers. Wide feathers. Yeah, bright. Wide. Bright, yeah. Wide. And the pigeons more for the flounders, they... Thinner. Yeah. Thinner flights. Many people call the Antwerp wings because of the feathers. The Antwerp wings because they were so wide. Yeah. And they're more for speed pigeons. Yeah. Because in the beginning, Antwerp was f the most famous place for speed pigeons. Speed pigeons. And now, after we start racing nationals, nationals, the wings change. The wings change. Yeah. So how long has it been uh, since the Antwerp area f starts to fly nationals? How many years? Yeah, we they they raise already many many years from 1980, 75, 80. But I think the last years we have more national races with yearlings and the pigeons. The type, the weather also changes. Right. So the type of the pigeons start to be yeah, changed they start to change but all the pigeons that i've handled in your loft and yours they're all balanced mm -hmm. they're all buoyant they all have super amounts of muscle like i mean almost too much muscle like just muscle 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 this would really learn me you need to select only with the results nobody know select only with the results yeah. and on the end you have the good type of good shape of pigeon Right. And you said something interesting today. Uh, Belgium was known a lot for gambling on pigeons. Yeah. And 
uh, how did you say it on selection of pigeons? It's, it's very good. If, if you have... Before in Antwerp, Belgium, we, the people, they have pigeons for earn money by gambling. Earn money by gambling, and yes. And they kill good pigeons because they only go with a small basket for, for, for big money for gambling. For gambling. And, and in the earlier years, how many pigeons would people ship? What, 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 what was an average size team of pigeons for people? Six, eight. Six, eight pigeons yeah. on their team. Yes. But why didn't they have more pigeons? Because too expensive for gambling and for loose money. So they have less pigeons yeah. and they focus on the pigeons better. Yeah. They concentrate and they select harder. Yeah, and they, uh, kill, yeah. they kill good pigeons because they only make space for six or eight pigeons. So basically, less is more. Yes. And again, there you are, Willie Daniels. How many, how many pigeons do you raise a year, hens? Uh, the yearlings and old pigeons. Yearlings and old pigeons. How many you raise? How many pigeons are on your team? 16. 16 pigeons. Again, very manageable. Mm -hmm. He knows when the pigeons have a headache. You know each pigeon, what each pigeon likes. Yep. This hen likes when I rub her on the chest. This one likes when I bow to her. He knows it all. Okay, question. A question for Willie Daniels. How he prepares the hens for a national race like Argentine. Which food and products do you use? I need to go outside. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait a minute. Plug your ears. <laughs> well, uh, Chris, uh, ask him the question so he yeah. gets it. I was asked as a flight from Argentine, how qua voeding, what a good voeding gift and supplement. Well, I give a light voeding. Light, light, light food. You no? feed. He feeds light. Yeah, yeah. He, he'd like to give the Gabi van den Abel a mingling from, from Robais. So you use the Gabi van den Abel yeah. mix? And the Kassar. Or yeah, the Kassar. Uh, with a uh, um, deal of maize. With more corn. With more corn. Yeah. yeah. More corn, yes. No, uh, no, no, no beans. No peas, no, no beans, beans, no. no. Okay. Peanuts? Peanuts? Uh, a little. Hemp seed? Hemp seed. No. No. Safflower? And, and veggie snoop. Uh, yeah, for it's for in the box. It's in the... It's in the mix. It's in the mix. It's in the mix. Yeah. In the mix. Yeah. So the only so, thing he really adds is some peanuts. Yeah. And he feeds, be, beginning up, so getting ready for a national, he feeds, like we talked, light in the week. Yeah. And builds up to heavy. Yes. Well, all, yeah, all, yeah, all the week lights. All the week. Yeah. Less on the week, uh, maize, uh, corn, not so say that. And in Turbo, we have a lot of good plus. No, no, we don't know what we're doing. We're young and we're old. Yeah. Niemand can't even believe it. We're going to have a lot of water on the... We're going to have a fight. En mm. einde van de week krijgen die een beetje snoeba en ja zo'n en wat en wat zijn de extra maïs dus dat kunnen niet al hebben. From what I'm get what I'm getting is at the end of the week he likes to add more maize, more yeah, corn, more yeah. corn, more, more corn. corn and small seeds. More corn, small seeds. Now in the I got some more questions, but in the in the hen section because I haven't seen, do, are the hens in boxes? The hens sleep outside, let they stay in the whole day outside in the small average. So the, all day long the hens spend out in the aviary? Yeah. At night when they the come in? Inside yeah. and close. Not in boxes. He feeds them on the floor. In the average. In he feeds in the aviary. Yeah. Just in a feeder. If you want, I give you the light. No, 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 it's okay. It's, it's dark. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to come back again, as long as we're allowed to. It's very simple love what we really have. Simple. <laughs> simple. It's not as simple as this. Okay, uh, question. Why? Why my pigeons was training for one hour morning and afternoon, and now after 250 miles... Miles race 
Race is hard. Make them fly 30 minutes sometimes. Well, let's read this again. Let's, let's figure out what he's asking. Question. Why my pigeons was training for one hour in the morning and afternoon? So we're off flying them in the morning and in the afternoon for one hour. Okay? And now after 250 mile race, it's hard to make them fly 30 minutes. Why is that? They recover not good enough. They recover not good enough is 100%. Mm -hmm. And recover is a very important thing. You've got to rebuild them when they come home. The most important thing during the season is recover good. The quicker you recover, the quicker they go back to battle. Not go to the club and drink beers. You need to first take care of the pigeons. Now, now question, when you recover pigeons, when the pigeons, I'll ask you this question and then we're going to ask Willie. So Willie, you listen, okay? This is a good question. The pigeons come home from a national race. 550 kilometers. Mm -hmm. The birds flew 1,200. The speeds of 1,200, uh, between 11 and 12. Good day, uh, working day. Mm -hmm. What do you do when they come home? What do you give them? What's the plan for them? My pigeons get a breeding mix. Breeding mix? Yeah. All they want? All they want. All day long? Yes. And after I give them some few pe peanuts. So you give them some fat there, yeah. you, 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 you bump up the feed. You yeah. get all the good feed they want, as yeah. much as they want. Yes. Can they have as much peanuts as they want? As much as they want. As much as they want. Anything in the water? It's the electrolyte. Okay. I give mostly the Belga soul from, from Hank. Okay, Hank the way, yeah. That's right, the, the, the bells, that's fine. So electrolytes, anything else? I not put anything on the food because I don't like too much put things on the food. Okay, you don't like things on the food. So you give, them the you give them the breeding mix, some peanuts, you load it up, electrolytes. Yeah. You give them that the day they come home. Yes. Okay, the next day? They get in the morning also the electrolytes, but then they full, they not eat much. So you don't feed them? No. <clears throat> and then Sunday evening, I clean them up with uh, the pure mix. Yeah. The light mix. You with move the, them to the light mix. With the vessels. Mm -hmm. For clean. Clean them up. That's yeah. right. And, and question: Do you let them out on Sunday? No. You never let them out. I Sunday when they separate, they get a shower. Yes. And then I can see already if they not want to go in the shower. Something. Is not right. Yeah. And then the, the first time you let them out is Monday morning? Monday morning, yeah. And normally, how long will they go? I never force them off no. the morning. You Monday. don't use a flag, no. you don't yell at them, you no. don't throw a ball at them. But then you need to see if, if you have a pigeon man, you need to look how they train. Not watch TV, watch the pigeons. Yes. So if the pigeons go out and they fly for 10 minutes and they land, mm -hmm. what do you do? Yeah, then, then we need to yeah, look what's what's wrong. What's wrong? It, you, you normally want them to see the first time out. What will they go? Twenty five minutes to a, yes. Twenty five minutes the first day. Yeah. Go out and, and and you know you're on the right course. And they need a little bit play. Yes. In the sky. They look like they fly upside down. Yeah. And the next day, uh, you let them out again that evening or no? No, one time a day. One time a day. The following day, which would be now, to Tuesday. You let them out again in the morning for fly. Yeah. Now how long do they go for? 45 minutes. And they do the same thing, yes. dipping in and progressively moving up. And they need to go a few minutes out away. of the view. Yeah. So ranging away. Question. We we'll make it easy for you. Yeah. When the pigeons come home from the race, yeah. what do you give them? What kind of food? She coming home and she try the electrolyte from uh, uh, from the from the bank or uh, Belgasol. The Belgasol. On the food, she try uh, same thing as every day. The um, Kazan mix with always yogurt. Yogurt. Yes. So it's a probiotic. Yeah. With uh, beer yeast. So you put yogurt on the feed? Yeah, yogurt on the feed. With some beer yeast? Maybe beer yeast. And you do that how many days a week? Every day? No, no. 
Only, um, only on return. Only on return. Is it over? Next day in the morning. It's all like it's all like in. Next day is the Kazar. Only way Kazar. Okay. Light mix. Light. Yeah. So so yeah yes. Uh, and end of the week uh, uh, extra mice. Extra maize at the end of the week. Corn at the end of the week. Guys, they feed light to heavy. And yes, uh, Brian, uh, the the light mix, the pure mix, it, it's, it's got barley in it. Uh, thank you. Uh, Alberto says, thank you. What? Uh, thank you. That is what I did and got uh, peeled peanuts. They look real good, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to train. Okay. Sorry about that. That's a good question. Thanks. Uh, I visit Chris many years ago. The quality of his pigeons was exceptional. You remember this gentleman? <laughs> Shane Emerson. Yeah. Chris says hi. <laughs> the quality of the pigeons is phenomenal. Answered my question with that. Yes. Yeah, so you 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 don't use yogurt though. See, we you don't give him the pigeons. Give him some yogurt. Yeah, <laughs> he needs more yogurt. So 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 small loft. You've always been a small loft flyer. Always small, small number of pigeons. But uh, I not give the yogurt. But I also put the things. I show also really secret. <laughs> oh, we're gonna see a Willy secret that he didn't ah. tell us. Oh. I think this is better than yogurt. What is it? Enterodex. Enterodex strengthening. Uh, it's a probiotic. Probiotic. Yeah. When are you using this on the feed? And the I, And I put it together with the belly cell when they come back. When they come back. So yeah. this is what you use the when day, they come back. The day, well, it's a good product. Good yeah. product. Really good. And, and it's a probiotic. Yeah. You give this yeah. to the young pigeons uh, before racing? I give you, yes. uh, all the quick and the quick and during the breeding system. The breeding. Season. Yeah. During the breeding Super season. During the domestic. Uh, what a, what about baby formula? You use that? I don't know. What it ba is. Uh, uh, baby formula uh, on the feed. I don't know. For it. people, uh, like uh, no, never mind. I not put so much food <coughs> on the food because I'm afraid of dinge. <coughs> Oh, mold. Yeah. You're afraid of molds. Okay. Guys, we're with Willie Daniels and Chris Claire, 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 Claire Bell. It's, it's a tricky. I'm bad with last names. Yeah. I'm, I'm the, I get, you know what? I like simpler last names. My last name is Zonigan. It's a real screwed up one, eh? Answered my questions. Okay. We got any other questions? Guys, if you have questions, now's the time to put them in. Remember, if you don't ask the questions, I can't. Get answers. Oh, we got another question. No, I thought we did. You answered my question. Question, question, question. Mm. Oh, powdered milk. Do you guys use powdered milk? I think it's... It's in here. In... It's all in here. Oh. So it's like a probiotic in there. Powdered milk. It's for the horses. <laughs> it's for the horses. It's for the horses. <laughs> do, you think, do you think winning pigeon races comes in a bottle? No. No magic powder. Van what? What's that? Ah, here's it's, a good... Another it's question. Uh, good for the... This I give it on the... On the... Quickest and the... Breeders. The breeders. It's good for the justice. It's, uh, it's for gooding uh, in the dorm. For the young birds. For the young birds. Very good uh, mist. Okay. Do you guys use apple cider vinegar? Uh, not directly, but uh, I use the LTV. Altaberry juice? LTV is from Burton. Burton? Burton. It's uh, bottles. Uh huh. Yeah. And this. Elderberries? L L T W. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's something, it smells, it's with yeah. herbs. And, and, and you see it? 
He has us. You guys are sharing the same. Look at this. Wow. Chris just, Chris this just winked. Is don't bring another. I'm a hey, don't bring another pigeon out for him, man. Eh? <laughs> he, he couldn't. He couldn't fall off the chair. This bullshit. Jeez, I, Chris, I thought you had the nicest pigeons, and then you Willie brought up. <laughs> Will you help the way she? Huh? Will you see it out the way? Yeah. yeah okay. He's going to bring it, sure. We might as well. Garlic. You like garlic? Yeah. You use and it? Yeah, you smell it. Yeah. In the water. You use yeah. garlic every day in the water? Yes. All the time. You crush the garlic yourself? No. You buy garlic no. juice. I'm... You're lazy. Yes. You're lazy, Chris. But there is something more inside. Canil? Canil. How to say in English? Don't worry. Rob Wong says, nice job, Ryan, getting Willie Daniels for an interview. I had one of his young birds that won two times first off, yes, no problem, yes, and we have Willie Daniels coming to Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions as well as my man Chris. Oh, this, this shit, look at this. Yeah, this is the way, no, bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. Maybe you have to reset the man? Yeah, it's also a bit. It's a bit of a bit of a bit it's many herbs inside. Too. Yeah, high quality, that's right. Yeah, high quality. Rob Wong, hey. Hey, Ryan, we are live. Here's, here's the question. Here's the question. Okay. It smells good. Yeah. I would marinate chicken in it. It's the odium inside, too. You try some. Whoa. She's a... She's, this is like apple cider vinegar. Yes. It's, it's got very acidity. Yeah. Hey, can you say hi to Willie Daniels for me? Oh, fucking Christ. Rob, I'm going to say hi to him when he comes in. I'm going to... Rob is from Calgary, okay? Yeah. And he, 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 bought, he bothered me and bothered me. you got to go see Willie Daniels. Got it? So we made sure we did this for Rob. This is... Rob, we did this one for you. No, I'm just playing with you, of course. You guys asked for the best pigeons. We try and get you the best pigeons. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, but I will say, you guys want to see some pigeons. This man right here got a fantastic collection of pigeons. You have excellent pigeon fingers. Uh, you travel all over the world with pigeons, eh? You seen it all? Yes. What's your favorite place to go for pigeons? Where do you think, where do you think pigeon sport is, is the best right now in the world? I think it's uh, China number one. China's number one. China, Taiwan is really professional. For pigeons. So it's the best. Yeah, for me it's the best. It's a dream to go there to... So if you could fly pigeons right now, snap your fingers, you'd want to go to China. Yes. You're here in a Belgium saying this. This is incredible. You don't think Belgium's the best? Yeah, I think Belgium is a little bit going... Going down? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, I am from the UK. Do you have any idea where I can find good two pair of breeding for breeding? Find two good, two, two, you want to find two good pairs for breeding? Every day I'm looking for good pigeons. For Every day you're looking for good ones. Yeah. Is it hard to find good breeders? Yes. How do you find them? I'm reading the results. Results. And then I go see many fanciers. You always handling pigeons. Yeah. You like it. you always handle uh, when you go to people's place and they have a, a national winner. Do you want to handle it a hundred percent? Yes. You always handling to you remember the feelings. Yes. Do you find all the national winners pretty much feel the same? Not the same. Do you feel a lot of shitty ones? Or are they pretty solid? If the weather is hard, the race is hard, yes. then mostly the type of the pigeon is good. Good. If it's high speed... Quality is down. That's right. Because you can the only time you can tell super quality pigeon is on a working day. Yes. Tailwinds is not the same pigeons. It's not the same pigeon, but it means they are smart. Yes. But uh, the powerful pigeons, I'm looking for powerful, smart pigeons. The pigeons that can basically climb uphill all day and be smart. Yeah. And I, select, I like to have the pigeons from 1,100 until 1,300 mid. So between 1,100 and 1,300, what do you think of pigeons that 
win at 900. Too, getting too slow? It depends the race. Eh? Depends the race. Normally, if they do 900, it's not a normal race at all. Uh, okay, we got another question. Craig asks, what year did Willie change from Cox to Hens? Do you know this? We can ask Willie when he comes. Should we ask him? I think he's he likes rubbing you, eh? <laughs> he likes to, man. It's neither. Go quickly to the toilet. All right, here we go, guys. Let me let me switch this camera around. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. We got Willie out in the loft. Chris, he's draining the hose. And what are we doing? We're talking pigeons. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We bring you the best of 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 the best. This is what we do. And I will ask, hey, Willie, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, what year in your pigeon racing career did you stop flying cocks? What year? How many years ago? Flying cocks? Yeah. When was the last time you raced cockbirds? Uh, 2010. 2010, no more cocks. No more cocks. Only hens. And what, after you did that, results go better? Yeah, the hens. The hens is for uh, four, five hundred kilometers to best. Four, yeah. And cocks are better what? Shorter? Uh, cocks is better to farther. Seven hundred, eight hundred kilometers. No Se hens, cocks. Cocks, okay. All right, let's see. We got some more questions. Da, 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 da. It's, it's mine. <laughs> mine, then I mean. Uh, I'm going to say this to you, Willie Daniels. Rob Wong from Calgary, Alberta, Canada says, Can you please say hi to Willie Daniels? So this guy says hello. <laughs> and, oh, and I didn't, I didn't get to say this, but uh, he, ha he got pigeons from your family and he won two races with your birds in Canada. Just to let you know. Uh, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate the interview with Willie Daniels. He is the ultimate in small loft flying. And exactly what Chris said. Small loft, big results, right? Yes. Call hard. How, how, how strict is Willie on calling pigeons? Strict on, on selecting pigeons. Uh, how many young birds... Does he? Do, how many youngs? You know, Willie will raise eighty young birds, but he only have space for sixteen hens. So the selection is very hard. So he raises eighty. He raises eighty youngsters. Yeah. He flies them as young birds. At the end of the season, he has forty-five left, maybe fifty. And then he selects sixteen good hens. But he still has hens, so he maybe doesn't even select. He maybe yeah. selects eight. Correct. Yes, correct. How many years will he fly the hens? Well, yeah, so they're going to stop me to have to spare. I think on 2010, I think maybe they'll have to be in the beginning. 2010, he stopped racing cocks. 2010, but I, I'm saying, how many years will he race the hens? Uh, a hen, how, how many seasons will he fly her? Three, four years. Maybe. Three, four years. Yeah. And then they normally go to the breeding loft? To the breeding loft, yeah. And does he find after four years or three years of hard racing, they, those hens produce good pigeons? I have not a place for too many old to move in the house. <laughs> I, mean, I have the yearlings. <laughs> All right. Uh, the gentleman here, here, the gentleman from the UK that asked, he wants two good pairs. Question. Two good pair of pigeons. How much is it going to cost? Two good pair of pigeons. What, what what would be a price for two good pairs of pigeons? I don't know the guy's name. He doesn't have a name on here, but it's like this crazy kind of writing. You see this writing I don't understand? That's do you know that writing? This looks like Chinese. It looks like Chinese. Mm. Listen, I think for a good good pair of pigeons, we're gonna say five thousand euros. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Salt. Salt. There you go. Rob Wong says, uh, "Does Willie Daniel still have blood from Nikki? Yeah, the national champion from 2015 Chateau. You still have. You, you still the bloodline still inside his pigeons. The bloodline still inside the pigeons. See, Rob. Rob's doing his homework. Nikki. Yeah, there. The picture." Up there, huh? That's Nicky, super dove. You still have? No, no, no this uh, long way. 
Long way. Your is the Back to the other. Three and a half. Super. 2011. You guys get the questions. We we ans ask you the questions. No problems. We like all the people coming out and asking away. Again, Chris and Willie, you, you guys have been great here today. And, and I mean, super. Uh, hmm. I can't believe the hens. The quality yeah. in those pigeons. It's unbelievable. I just... The, I, I don't know how you do it. Selecting by results. Selecting. You know, this small, 16, every year 16 yearlings, or 14 yearlings, two olds, and much uh, better goat. A lot of people saying, what a wonderful night. Thanks, Willie and Chris. See, you're making people's night. This is like Walt Disney, man. <laughs> now, now, yeah. um, do you want to show any other pigeon? Is there any other pigeon you want to show? Chris, is there any pigeon you'd like to see anymore? Would there be one more? Look at Vasilis, he's saying. The Vasilis. You can't get me on. What? He, he not know his breeders. <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't. I am too old. I forget everything. But I, I know all well, his well, 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 Can you get a number one of us in this? I got more all in it. Here we go. Well, Remember, guys, to like, share, and subscribe. 582 from 17. 17 is a roaring. Yeah. There he goes. The best breeder in his loft. So we're gonna see the best breeder now in his loft. Before you bring it. So this is his best breeder. His best breeding for Chris. Eh? Best breeding for Chris. <laughs> because he all give the babies to me. So you get all the babies, yeah. fly, and they fly super yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. All the. Ace pigeons. All the ace pigeons that are coming from him. Okay, guys. You see, we're, we're, we're finding here all the good stuff out again. Uh, so, Willie keeps... Man of blue. Man of fuck. Need the glasses. You need the glasses. So, Willie keeps his team from young with... Okay, so here's a question for you. Is that a blue or I think I know the answer. So... If Willie, wait, 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 what's this question? So if Willie keeps his team young with only two old birds and 14 yearlings, no, he, he, uh, at the, uh, he adds the young two, but he only keeps four, and he only keeps 16. So he will remove, will he remove, uh, after the yearling season, if there's a yearling hen that's not per flying good, does he remove her? Out. Out and he replaces it with a young. Yes. If he has a two-year-old hen that's not flying any good, is she out? Yes. Out. So he just keeps the team to sixteen. Yes. So if there's if all sixteen of those yearling and two-year-old hens are super, they're all super. Mm. What will he do with all the youngsters? He has a problem. Yes. That, that never happens. Normally they come to my place. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. You see them today? Yeah, I see them. Super nice. Yeah. The quality is there, but you're 100% right with his cocks. They're a little bit different. Yes. Different shape. But that's why I asked to show you this cock. It's a big, deep cock. And, and this is where it comes from? Yeah. From this guy? He's breeding very, very good. What do you think about big pigeons? I like to have for breeding big pigeons, but... You need to compare with a smaller type hen. Right. They have to be big, buoyant. Yeah. They can't be heavy. No. They have to be proper big. Yes. <sighs> and that's why he success with uh, Aske Ian, the line Aske Ian, they're smaller. Right. So it compares. Compares. What do you think he's got left to win? What do you think... Is there any more that he can, I mean, what better can you he's do? He's still motivated. He's still motivated, yeah. You yeah. see, he's like a kid. See how excited he is yeah. to go get those pigeons? 
that's nice to see, isn't it? Yeah. And mostly, almost every two days he come to my place after he finished the pigeons. And we always handling and talking pigeons. Handling and talking, uh, enjoying the pigeons. That's nice to see. You guys fly in the same club? Same club, yeah. Who beats who more? Ask Willie. <laughs> All right, we'll ask Willie. That's a good question to ask him. Is he, is he better in the nationals? <laughs> last, last year, I think my young birds were performed much better. In the big club from Bevel, where we basking the pigeons, it's the biggest club of Belgium. We have four national race with young birds, and I win three times first prize. Yeah, eh? in that club. Yeah. So good results. I'm really always a little bit behind me. Now, is he better with yearlings, two-year-olds? Yeah. Than young birds? Yes. Does Willie train because the pigeons? I, I only start racing two years now with yearlings. Only two years. Does uh, Willie train the pigeons with the car a lot? Sometimes in the beginning of the season, the young birds I take with me, really bring to my place and I... Go from there. Yeah. So you guys sort of sometimes train together? Yes. Share ideas? Yeah. Pretty open or you think he's, he's holding no, some secrets from you? We're always joking. Always open. Always open. Yeah. It's good to be, eh? Yes. Uh, what pigeons though? I mean, quality here is second to none. I, I, yeah, I know. For, for people who have this quality of pigeons, it's easy talk, you understand? Yeah. I, I get what you mean. Very, uh, every pigeon we handle is unbelievable. And he's right when he give this or he not give this. He say, Chris, I not see the difference. It's not see. bad, but... It's, it's he, not the wonder. It, no wonder drugs. Yeah. It, 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 it's good pigeons first. Yes, but uh, this kind of things we give yeah, for for give a little bit for the, the for the system, insides, yeah. the di digestive. But but uh, the winning doesn't come from the bottles. No, it, it comes from the good pigeons and the bloodline and the work. But after I give this to Willie. He agree, it's a very good product. So when, he likes it. When we want the pigeon start training, and we give this ten days, it's really okay. You will see the difference for sure in this product. Yeah. Uh, Richard Burrito, uh, bur bur oh, Ricardo. Sorry, Ricardo. Uh, hello, good day. I am thankful for w what you are doing. Ah, thank you. Uh, who would they say is the most successful flyer in Belgium? Who's the most successful flyer in Belgium? Maybe your top three, so you don't leave people out. Yeah, for me, it's really one of the best. So Willie's in the top three. Yeah, when you see small loft and the results he do. Okay. Second. Second. Or if you had to pick three. Three three lofts in Belgium that you think real 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 good. And you can't say yourself. Detroit fly good last year. Wim Detroit. Wim Detroit, okay. Yeah. And then from one more. From an they have good results, but it's you cannot compare the loft from an either with Willy. From the need race, more than 100 yearlings, really 16. Yeah, points go to Willie. Yeah. What do you think about colored pigeons? Color? Colors. Pies, grizzles, reds. Do you, do you like them? Do you not like them? I not like the colored pigeons. I like most blue and checkers. Why don't you like colored pigeons? I don't know. For the hook. If you have white pigeons or grizzles, or hawk. the hawk. So you prefer blues, checkers? Yes. You don't like reds? Okay, not your favorite. No, they start fly good. So. <laughs> <laughs> How 
Uh, Les Gerard, what's going on, my friend? It's all about the money in pigeons. No. Is it all about money in pigeons? Uh, Let me ask you. If there was no money to be made in pigeons, mm -hmm. if there was no money, would you have pigeons still? Yeah. When I start, I start when I'm seven years old, 43 years ago. Yeah. The time we don't have money for pigeons, we raise for for fun. Yeah. What I say is, I come here, I see this man. But I see many people who ask me this question. But I never see one people who refuse the money when they offer him to the pigeon. That's true. But I, I, I see here Willie, he sits here, he's out there in the loft. How old is he? 70. 70. Is he like a little kid? Yeah. Is he excited? Yes. Those two pigeons that we handled, the first national ace... We are not factories, eh? No, but what I say is... I know what some people thinking about some lofts are made more factories. Just produce, produce, produce. Produce and the printing pedigrees, pedigrees. In fact, we not care about pedigree, we care about good pigeon. Care about good pigeons, that's yeah. right. And, and what you see is this 70-year-old man... He has two pigeons there that you would both agree. The first ace pigeon, second ace pigeon. They're probably worth together combined close to a million dollars. They're in his loft. He doesn't, not for the money. No. He loves bringing those pigeons out. They offer, they offer a... Uh, big money. Big money. But Clo yeah, probably refused. close to a million dollars for those pigeons and they're in his loft. And he refused. He refused because why? Loves the pigeons, eh? Yeah. You see the you see the pride in him, eh? How happy he was to bring those out. Oh yeah, man. Oh, Ricardo, question: What was the worst thing you have ever done in the pigeon sport, and you regret? We are, yeah. We already answered that question. He does. They don't regret anything. He he regrets uh, transport of pigeons. He the pigeons uh, yeah. they're, they're not transported good in Belgium. They're not, they're too many birds in the trailers, not enough water, not enough oxygen, not good enough care. Mm. That's what you'd want to see change. Mm. There you go. It's all about the money. We're waiting. Willie's out searching now, eh? Yeah. Uh, to you're going to go help him, all right? You go help him. We're going to let Willie bring this back. We're going to look at one more bird before we wrap this up. Again, guys, Chris, Clarebot. And Willie Daniels, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction, Season 5. You've asked me to go the distance. Inch by inch by inch we go. We, the birds, phenomenal. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. The quality of pigeons. Sorry, I came on late. No, no, no. Yeah, that, that's not a problem, Ricardo. I thought it was reposting up the questions. Oh, shit. He, instead of Brian bringing one, he brought two. <laughs> oh, hold on. Go, hold on. Let me switch this around. And this is the big cock you're telling me about? Yes. Oh, he looks beautiful. Look at the head on him, eh? You know what they say? When a pigeon has a big head like that, they got big brains. Uh, sorry I came on late, Robert. Doing a great job. Look at the back, eh? Look at the thickness in that thing. Just yeah. It's a little bit deeper. A little deeper, eh? A little deeper. Uh, what is the question? I do, okay, Les Gerard's asking, do you breed pigeons for sale? Mm -hmm. How many pigeons in a season, roughly, do you guys sell? Are you guys big producers? Do you produce a thousand to sell a year, or how many thousand are you producing? <laughs> and I'm only playing. Uh, there is no price on what you enjoy. Yeah, no, there's no price. Whoa. Your next pigeon fancier to visit, sir. Whoa, you're the next pigeon fancier. Who's, who's, 
Mm-hmm. Who's the next pigeon fancier I'm going to visit? Well, right now I'm in heaven. I don't got to go father, really any further. Is it Take, fa- father of Luca, second national ace pigeon. That's the father of the second national ace pigeon. Yeah. Take a look at the box. You see, guys, same thing. These are these are larger cocks, eh? Rob Wong, super beautiful. Oh, Rob Wong wants me to ask: Was Nikki the nat? Was Nikki the national champion named after Willie's daughter? Is this correct? Yes. That's why. See, Rob has all of Willie's books, and he's read everything. Mark Johnson, two of the best I visit Willie twenty plus years ago. Fantastic pigeon, man as. As Chris, great pigeon man. Guys, I'm going to switch this camera around because the hell with them. They're getting to handle all the pigeons and I'm not. Forget holding a camera. Remember, guys, to like, share, and subscribe. So this is the father. Second nationalized pigeon. Yeah. This isn't even right, eh? Oh. Holy shit. Again, the vibration. It's not small, eh? No. No, but we, we talk, uh, uh, he's a large pigeon, uh-huh. but he's properly large. He's not bulky. He's not heavy. Super pigeon. Guys, you want to take a look at the back. When you handle a pigeon like this, I see people, they open the legs. Some people like to look at it like that. But I tell you, the pigeon is perfect. Buoyancy, balance. The forearm, look, the thickness. You open the wing. The vibration in this pigeon is perfect. Why did you bring me here? This is the, yeah, this is the one. And this cock here, what has he produced? He's the Valzilis. There was it, yeah. his brother of Kate, and Kate was first national shuttle. So this is the this is a brother yeah. of the first national, yeah. and he's this. grandfather of my ace pigeons. Yeah. Again, you like the curve in the flights? Does that mean something, or is it just what you like? It's an option. Eh? It's an option. Yeah. Yeah, it's an option on a car, like power windows. God damn it. Quality super. Look at this cock again. You don't need to... Look at this. Just... But you, you feel the type is a little deeper? Yeah, you feel the little bit of keel bone. Yeah. Just a little bit. And the hands you handle today, it's a copy of him. It's a papa. We got more questions coming in with Chris and Willie. What a perfect, is today Saturday or Friday? What day of the week are we on? We don't know, I don't care. Quality second to none, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Here, I give you this, give you the big man back. Let me ask some of the questions. Let's see, what questions do we got? Okay, I missed some questions. Uh, da, 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 da. Rob Wong says, thanks for asking my VIP question. Tell, I talk with his daughter from time to time. So Rob talks to your daughter. Hmm? This is, this is, <laughs> I know Rob gave me shit a year and a half ago because I didn't come and visit you, but I didn't know you. I, I had to go to the Golden Deutsch to meet you. And that's what we did. Okay. Uh. How many are you auctioning off? I can't tell you that. That's private information. How do they keep the super pink breast color? How do you keep the super color on the pigeons? The super color? Uh, underneath. The nice like and this? pink. No, no. Uh, the keel bone. Uh, the, the muscles. How do you keep it pink? Yeah, light, light food. Light food. Yeah. Not heavy. Not heavy. Yeah. It's it's like fat. You, yeah. you you feed them fat. It's like we got fat on our stomach. You yeah. got to keep it right light. Uh, how many are you auctioning off? I can't tell you how many I'm auctioning off. Are you guys excited that I got these two guys at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions? Trust me, I had to fight someone to get this done. I was gonna have to. I almost got in a fight to get you to come. If you were gonna say no, I was gonna come and knock you out. <laughs> 
No, guys, it's okay. We're having fun here. Uh, any thoughts about getting new flyers or past flyers into the sport? What do you think it's going to take to get new people flying pigeons? New starters. New starters. How, how do we get more new starters in the sport? It will be not easier because everything is going more and more expensive. Right. More pigeons are expensive. Clocks are pigeons, expensive. Pigeon food, loft. Yeah, everything. Everything. Is it's expensive. Yeah. And uh, for explosion defenses, I think you need to have a poor country. I think the people have too many things at the moment. When I young, I only enjoy pigeons. That's right. Now they Yesterday, have... my daughter, she's six years old, she asked me, Papa, what movies, what games you play? I said, Scott, okay, at that time we didn't have... That's right. Computers, we only have pigeons or in a ball for play football. Les Gerard says, pigeon guys should drop the price. Pigeon, pigeon men should drop the price of the pigeons. Why? Why? Yeah. If the pigeon food's expensive, and the gasoline is expensive, and the pigeon loft is expensive, mm -hmm. the clock is expensive, I, I, I don't know why you drop... I mean, nothing else in the world's dropped its price, mm -hmm. really. I mean, you go and buy beer. It's, it, everything is expensive. But uh, I don't know. Dropping the price, I, I, I think that's... Uh, no, it's a nice idea to think, but... Uh, it's not easy to... No. Listen, I will, I'm will. i willing to give $55 for the, the national win, the winner, and I'll give $45 for the... You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. how, how can you do that? Mm -hmm. you, you put a price on it, right? It's whatever people really want to pay. Someone wants to come in right now and offer him 3 million euros. That's up to them. What do you think about buying expensive pigeons? Have you bought expensive pigeons that haven't worked? Yes. Have you gotten pigeons cheap that have worked great? Yes, also. Both ways. Yeah. But if you buy an expensive pigeon and not good success, it's a good lesson for the future. Yeah. You, you need. You need experience. Yeah. And yes. you make mistakes. You learn yes. as you go. Question, uh, Rob Wong wants to know, what are the names of those two cocks that we just handled? The names of them. The Vasilis. Okay. Is the brother of Kaat. And the father of Luca, I know the idea. No, I don't know. We not remember the names. Okay, uh, Rosedale Loft says, I've heard something about vouchers with Belgium. Vouchers within Belgium. What is it? Vouchers within Belgium. A voucher. Voucher. <coughs> this is what we give to the club for support the clubs. So we give a pigeon. They can auction the pigeon. And the money goes to the club. Money goes yeah. to the... The digger. The father. Van. So... So, so the vouchers, it's it's the for the club. Uh, yeah. Van Luca. Van Luca is the son of the nestuister van. Right, van the uh, van Herma, van the van een bolt. Van een bolt. Van een bolt. Oh the, no no, the father of Luca, the second national ace pigeon. Uh huh. Is a baby from the nest sister of Bolt. Okay, from Bolt. Yeah. Oh. Bolt from the Hermans. Bolt Leo Hermans, okay. Rob Wong has another question. Jeez, Rob, you're going to have to get... <laughs> if Rob asks one more question, he's going to have to give each one of us a thousand euros. No, I'm just playing. Here's a, <laughs> here's, here is a special question. On race day, when the birds arrive, do they... Do you talk to the birds or do you whistle? Or do you blow... A referee's whistle. When they fly good, we kiss them. <laughs> How do you call them in? They want to know. What's the? Do you call them in? Normally, we just. You whistle. Yeah. You're a whistler. What do you do? Whistle. Whistle. Yeah. Let's see. Come to home. Yeah. How do you? What you? What do you do? My flutters. You talk. 
I, I, know, I have not to fly to go. Yeah, directly. He, he directly. Yeah, if you have not flown, no. <laughs> Normally we do it because of... She, she was there, would I say, there would I come, I go there. My, my boss, my boss is, uh, <laughs> let him go. <laughs> I'm with here. Okay. They, they know the system, they know the cocks are inside, so normally we not need to... They just go? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I guess what Craig was meaning with regrets is, did you ever get, give birds away uh, to uh, an auction and it turned out to uh, a club voucher and it turned out to be Super Pigeon? Yes. Yes? You're not regretting that though. It makes you happy? When I give a pigeon... To the club? I, I always give with my heart for the people can have success. So you want to see people. If you give a pigeon to somebody... I'm always proud when I go see the pigeons in the club, which I give for Voyager. There you go. Again, you give pigeons with the right intent, good things come. Yeah. Uh, they wanna, they're asking Chris, what do you look for when you first handle a pigeon? In the first... Three seconds. What is the number one thing? The feeling of the... The body. Yeah. Everything. All at once. And you know within three seconds if you want to keep handling it or not. Yes. How quickly can you dismiss a pigeon? Very fast. Very fast. Yeah. And how did you learn this? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Handling, handling, handling. How many pigeons in your life you think you handled? Probably. <clears throat> Millions. Millions. Yeah. And you've handled some of the very best from all over the world. Yeah, especially in China. I, we traveled many times also together to China for look the best pigeons because Chinese have the best pigeons all over the world. So would you say right now the best pigeons in the world are in China? Yeah. Hands down. You guys, you're getting the inside scoops, man. And I mean, you can tell that all the money goes there. So they're buying the best. They're buying the best pigeons. Good and they're good pigeon flyers there. Yes. And, and they're producing top quality pigeons when you like when you don't go and handle Belgian pigeons, you go and handle pigeons that they've bred. Are they continuing the super qualities? Yes. So you see it. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> A lot of great questions. Guys, we're gonna get pretty close to wrapping this up. An hour and forty three minutes with you two. Look at this. <laughs> My Flemish is horrible. Your English is great. I don't even know how you do this. I, I want to thank you very much for giving us the opportunity, letting us come over. Pigeons are fantastic and, and great people. You guys are both good guys, uh, which is nice. And uh, we look forward to doing the auctions for both Chris and Willie, Willie and Chris. So, guys, uh, great show. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. How many yearlings will Willie race next year? And how many two-year-olds, three and three-year-olds and four-year-olds? I have uh, fourteen uh, yearlings and three old, three old pigeons. Three old pigeons and and fourteen yearlings. Yeah. I have not more place. Not more place. How many more years are you gonna fly? How many more years are you gonna fly? How more? Over the year, I'm expecting thirty years. Uh, 73, maybe I live noch two years. Thank you, mate. I play noch two years. I, I live noch 10 years. I play he, noch 10 years. He, he's going to fly till the end. Yes. Yeah. Well, they, oh, it, God, it's, it's my hobby. It's my... We it, fly until we self-fly. Yeah. Until you fly up there again, eh? <laughs> Do you, yeah. We fly to, to, to the hemel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then it's uh, down. <laughs> okay, uh, easy. E somebody, e easy. Gore says the best pigeons are in China, but the best pigeon mines are in Belgium. Is this true? I yeah, but think the, so. But I, <laughs> but I think at the moment, not misunderstanding how the pigeon sport growing in China. So China's slowly moving up. Yes, for sure. And again, they're flying. You said to me in the car, you can race for a Mercedes, you can race for a, an Audi, you can race for a Bentley, you can race for a Rolls Royce in China. Yeah. 
big money every time they go out. And they're spending big money, they're playing in big money. They play with millions, eh? Millions. Yeah. Guys, don't knock it. Will, are you going to go to China and race? The best pigeons in uh, this one, China, too, they come out to the Antwerp for uh, five, six hundred kilometers. Is the best pigeons in the Antwerp. We go to further, seven, eight hundred, we go to, to the Flanders. Okay. You're hearing it, guys. I think this has been a fun show. Again, I want to thank you guys very, very much. Remember, keep following us along. Sorry, I couldn't do any uh, loft tours today. We were busy looking at birds, busy doing videoing. It was pouring what rain. Chris, Willie, I want to thank you guys very, very much. Guys, we are going to wrap this up, but there, you see, we brought it all... Is this right? We bring it all for you. There's Thank Willie. You. There's Chris. Hey, there's me. Man, I held two best pigeons in all of Belgium. We call it Magic Pigeon Fingers. If you guys want to shake my hand, it's five euros to shake my hand. I'll probably still have the down from the feathers off the pigeons. Thanks for flying with me, guys. Adios. 